you have ever visited Chicago's Board of Trade, you could not have missed them. The outlandish jackets the traders wear, well, they're legendary. But as the market changed, so did the South Side factory that started the colorful tradition. Tonight, NBC5's Warner Saunders takes us on a tour. In a sea of hands and voices, where survival is being seen as well as heard. Even your clothes need to blare out. Look at me. They did it out of necessity because they were mixing up the trades between each other, so they wanted to look unique and different. From shamrocks to checkers, this is the kind of fashion only a trader could love. And then some guys started adding stripes to their sleeves. When they put their arms up, you'd recognize who they were just by the color combinations on their sleeves. So you mean people are ordering stuff in that and sure, absolutely. Let's see. Let's start over here. And um, Peter Papa George really takes full credit cutting, for the out-of-the-box creation. Down. Go figure. that somebody would actually order uh, this, but they do. If a trader can dream it, Pico will make it up. Since we don't carry this fabric, they must have sent this to us. And they said, listen, I want to embroider it with my whatever this is, their low their initials. Papa George took the heat off traders around the world in the 1980s. A customer of ours came to us when Nike first came out with mesh. And all of a sudden, we're like, look, the light bulbs went off. And I said, well, I've got to find this fabric. In the late 90s, it was electronic trading that cooled off the pits. Slowly, traders left the floor for a computer station. No jacket required. And I said, we better do something. We better do what we know how to do which is custom making garments. But I decided we'll try going to the restaurant show. Papa George stirred up a new business, custom made chef jackets. This jacket's for the uh, Hard Rock Cafe. These are chef coats that simply are they're for Penn State. Now Pico is cooking up aprons, pants. What do you think? I don't think so. <laughs> and high-end jackets for Chicago's gastronomical gurus. This is uh, the Egyptian cotton is what the jacket is made out of. This is the butter logo, which they uh, embroider onto the jacket. These are the handmade buttons that are hand rolled. How about this? I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii, so here's a perfect shirt. Huh? Now, right. chef wear makes up more than half of Pico's business. No, they just call us on the phone and they say, listen, I want style number, whatever style this is, and they say, I want it in this color. In an era of outsourcing and downsizing, a Chicago and company thing, changes its stripes and survives. That means you got to change or go out of business, huh? That's right. One of the two. That's right. And you change. I change, definitely. Warner Saunders, NBC5 News. See what you learn when you watch our stories. I never knew some of that stuff.